Alright, forgive me, Ma. I had ran out of space and I had to delete some older videos. But we back. Here we go. We ended off on Spoink. We got a Roly Coley, Oli. We got Frillish. Esper. Next card was kind of spoiled. We got a Galarian Mr. Mime Reverse Hollow. Not bad. Homeboy looked like he on his best bullshit. I wouldn't trust him. Okay, so Galarian forms are evolutions. Huh. I learn something new every day. Next, we got a... Bang! We got a Sandaconda. An evolution to Silly Cobra. Holographic. Not a bad pull. So we got our first hollow right there. Once again, my silly behind forgot to get my sleeves and put them close by. But that's okay. So they will be sleeved up after the video. Alright. Promo card. For the TCG online. We got a psychic energy going first. Per ugly. Honch Crow. Honch Crow look majestic. Don't sleep on Honch Crow and Merc Crow. I'm telling you, those are like Nuzlocke Enders. They're probably second place right after Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet and why not? Because them would pursue their high attack. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen for it. I'll be like, oh, let me, like, I'll be switch training. And whatever I got out, it's like either I keep it there. And, you know, try my best to fend off against it, which chances are it's not going to, or I just risk it. And they always use Pursuit when I go for the change. We got a Seedra. I haven't seen a Seedra in a while. Nice and first gen. Lick it tongue. Speaking of first generation, the original pervert Pokemon. <laughs> we got a... Ew, it looked like a knitted Zubat. Got Remoraid, which somehow evolves into an octopus, but we're just going to ignore that. We got an Onyx, Mawile, a Single Strike. What's the difference between the Single Strike and the Rapid Strike Pokemon? I know that there are certain cards that benefit them, but I'm not sure exactly. Maybe that's just it. Alright, our hollow is a Spupa reverse. And we got a Aegislash. Holographic. One of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not the biggest Steel type fan. I don't hate Steel types, but they're just not one of my favorite types. But Aegislash is definitely up there. Quite beasty, if you ask me. And actually, I think that's the first one I've pulled on this channel. Well, the first one I've pulled, period. I've pulled plenty of Han Edges and Dublades. But never an age of slash. So that'll probably be going into the personal collection. Alright. After I'm done struggling for 15 minutes. I like these packs though. Because once you open it. Out the top. You can literally just slide them out. And preserve the pack if you like the artwork. I know there's certain artworks I want to keep. We got a Steel Energy, Fan of Waves, a Dotler, whatever the hell that is right there. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't want to spoil the card neither. <laughs> and we're back, a Dotler, Indeedy, Electabuzz, looking all powerful. Ball toy, Gliger, Saladit, Salandit, I mean, there's like a thousand artworks of this Pokemon, I swear I might have pulled about ten of them, in different sets, Bronzor, our hollow is a reverse hollow single straight scroll of scorn, and our rare is Scorch. 
which involves some sizzler peat. This is your first time visiting the channel. I am not most familiar with the Galarian region yet. Sun and Moon I'm a little familiar with, but everything before that, you know, that's my jump. That's my jam. We got a Water Energy gone first. Crawdot. Tower of Waters. Karina Strike. Got a Mawile. Spoink. Galarian Mr. Mime. Scatterbug. Yamper. Our Hollow is a Reverse Hollow Electivire. So that's dope. I, I can replace my common Electivire with this one for my collection. And lastly, we got BANG! Hey, we got a Tyranitar V. My boy. Alright, so this isn't the one that, um, th this isn't the high-end one, but who doesn't love a Tyranitar? Even if it doesn't have a good value to it, it has value to me. Tyranitar has been one of my favorite Pokemon since the beginning. It's really hard to train. It's a very slow leveling Pokemon, but it's definitely worth it. So, as of this point, off the top of my head, I don't know the price of these cards. So, I won't be making estimates and looking like a fool out loud. I'll just post them on the screen. So, you know, give you an idea if you're looking on getting a set of what cards you could possibly be obtaining. All right, first up, we got a Dark Energy, Bruno from the Elite Four, Car Cole, which evolves from Roly Coley, Pig Knight, one of the worst evolutionary lines in my opinion, Scatterbug, Cubone, Bone, Bone. We got Murkrow to go on with his evolution. We got Tepic, so I'm going to pull Tepic and Pig Knight to the side. Even though I'm not a big fan of their evolutionary line, I got to collect my starters. We got Hone Edge. Houndoom. Reverse Hollow. If I'm not mistaken, there is a pretty high value Houndoom in this set as well. I'm not sure which one it is. But if we pull it, that would be nice. And lastly, we got Galarian Slowbro. I guess the shelter bit his hand this time. Okay, slow bro, I'm sick of you getting all these alternate forms. <laughs> but there's a lot of Pokemon that aren't getting any extra forms or support. To my knowledge, my boy from second gen. Uh, what's his name? Little snake Pokemon from the cave. I'm drawing a blank right now because I'm trying to multitask and I can't think of his name. But when it pops up, you know, I got a perfect picture in my head. It just ain't coming up. But he hasn't gotten any support. Grass Energy. Fan of Waves. We got a Dottler. And DDD. Sizzlipede. Claymation. We got Ball Toy. We got Timber. We got Cordfish. Acacnea. Tool Jammer is our Reverse Hollow. And lastly, we got a Bang! Tapu Bulu, a holographic. That's one of the guardian Pokemon from the Alolan region. I'm, I'm, but I believe yeah, because they had Tap Tapu Coco, Tapu Bulu, and a couple other ones. Off the top of my head, Bear would probably be able to tell you what they were. I unfortunately can't right now. I haven't watched Pokemon Sun and Moon. I've watched some of uh, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, X and Y. Of course, Johto and the original. I'm very familiar with those. <clears throat> Online code. Four to the top. I'm going to guess that this is a water energy. Nope. Thunder beats water. We got Spupa. Single Style Strike Mustard. We got a gold bat. Bell sprout. Mianfu. Another Yamper. 
Glam Meow. We got Quarterfish. All right, our reverse holo is Licky Licky. And Phalanx is our rare card. Okay. Can't all be winners. I'm not sure what Phalanx is supposed to be. That's maybe my third time ever seeing that Pokemon. Never questioned it, so now. It looks kind of like a Karibo form from Yu-Gi-Oh! If you ask me. I'll put it back up for a second. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I think it looks like a, a, a Karibo variant. Fighting Energy. We got Bruno for that Fighting Energy. Car Coal. Pig Knight. Esper. We got uh, Shinx. One of the cutest Pokemon. Blipbug. Pawniard. We got a Mankey. Fun fact, I'm actually playing Pokemon Leaf Green. Not on here, but uh, on my actual Nintendo DS. I got the... Uh, I actually got like a ROM version of it. But it's the full game. And... I missed my chance at catching a Mankey. I'm so sick about that <laughs> because I got to get ready to go to Brock's gym soon. But it's all good. I got Bulbasaur. He'll, he'll blow through it. Still would have been nice to have a Mankey instead of a Rattata. Next, we got Timber Reverse Hollow. And Victory Bell is our rare card. Victory Bell is another one of those underappreciated Pokemon, in my opinion. It took me a while to appreciate it. I was like, you know, because I was the type of person, I always pick Bulbasaur as my starter. So what do I need another grass type for? I'm not taking him out for no reason. And you're not killing my Bulbasaur if I Nuzlocke it. I'm calling it. I don't care how many Wobbuffets they throw at me. Thunder Energy. Single Strike, Scroll of Scorn, Fish Sharp to go, won't go along with Pawniard, Camping Gear, Cacnea, another Pawniard, Timber, Tepig, is that a different art? No, that's the same one I pulled, okay, got Pig Knight in the background, Glam Meow, Reverse Hollow Grum Pig, and BANG! We got Meow Stick, the evolution of Esper, holographic. I haven't had a chance to try them. I don't have an opinion. Other than the design, I think that they're pretty cool design, and they they fit into how uh, the Pokemon designs are. There are certain Pokemon that I look at, and I'm like, you know, you could have been a Digimon. And there's certain Digimon I look at that, but like, you could have been a Pokemon. online code for anyone who would like to use it fire energy that's what I said fighting energy <laughs> camping gear Cedra. Uh rapid strike scroll of swirls galarian mr. mime foe mantis time echo Whatever happened to James's Chime Echo? I forgot he had one. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm, I'm curious now. Got Spiro. Zubat. Jellicent. A Reverse Hollow. And Conkeldor is our rare. Not a bad Pokemon. I know they said that generation is basically just a knockoff generation one. But there are some really cool Pokemon that came out of it. I don't care what nobody says. Like Crocodile. Very original Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I even grew a fondness for Throw. Because I happened to um, get one during my Nuzlocke through that. We have the Fire Energy. Camping Gear. Honchkrow. Heat More. Heat Less. Bell Sprout, Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlipede, Shinx, uh, Boltund. Ooh, oh, 
I didn't know Yamper could evolve. That's a pretty cool electric type doggo. I want to try it out. And bang! We got a Cricketoon V. My boy Cricketoon. Bug type. Not really impressed with them. But I like his car work. I like the way that it looks. And I like what they were going for. They're trying to, you know, add more bugs into the game. More unique bugs at that. You, there are so many bug species in the world. Pokemon has such a pull to pull from for that. And fun fact, Pokemon was actually created as a bug catching game. Or it started out that way. Because the creator of Pokemon... Uh, actually enjoyed collecting them and learning about the different kinds of stuff like that. And then it evolved into the game that we all know and love with all different types of creatures. I'm going to guess that this next card is Thunder. Nope. We got a Psychic Energy. Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Bisharp. Single Strike Energy. Bronzor. Tepig. Pachirisu. Nienfu, Ball Toy, Lorantis is our Reverse Hollow, and BANG! We got Rapid Strike Urshifu V. I believe that this might be the one that's worth quite a bit. If not, it's still worth a decent amount. So either way, I am very happy with that pull, and I need to find my sleeve so to make sure that he does not get damaged. Let's look at his condition real quick. Along the edges, everything looks good. It looked like there might be a little nick down here at the bottom. But all in all, just from my novice opinion, it looks to be in pretty decent shape. It looks to be pretty centered. So I am not even mad about that pool. We got Rapid Strike or Urshifu V. I don't know what he is, but he looks like he could be a Digimon. Or Shifumon. I'm all for it, dog. Got our code. Water energy. Steel energy. Okay. Tower of Darkness. Girder. Durant. I love Durant. Pachirisu. Cheer Ruby, the most cheerful Pokemon. Me and Fool, just stretching it out. Silly Cobra. He looks like something that I'm not going to speak about right now. <laughs> Galarian Mr. Mime. Experience Share Reverse Hollow. And BANG! We got us a Stoutland V. I am liking this set. We are pulling a ton of pretty cool holographics. And Stoutland is definitely one of my favorite normal types. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. I got my old man just popped on me. My knees and backs and ankles. All just popped at once. For readjusting myself. Alright. So, there goes another code. Four to the top. I'm going to say fire energy this time. Now we finally got our water energy that I switched it up. You're going to do that to me, huh? Camping gear. Let me focus. Focus. There we go. Honchcrow. Big boss Honchcrow. Heatmore. Ponyard. A Houndour. To go with our Hound Doom. Shinx. Gligar. Spoink. Heatmore Reverse. And Octillery. Holographic. So I guess Remoraid finally evolved. People switch trained him enough. I ain't mad at that. Octillery is a solid Pokemon. I'd like to see more of him in Pokemon. To be honest. Maybe he should get an evolution. Or if not. He should be able to make it evolve. In my opinion. Online code. We got one more pack to go after this. I'm going to guess that this is a grass energy. Dark energy. I don't think I had any grass energies yet. Experience share. 
Weeping Bell to go with our Victory Bell. And our Bell Sprout. Perugly. Mankey. Mawile. So since we pulled Mankey, it'd be nice to pull a Primeape as well. Fomantis. Remoraid for Octillery. Spiro. Per Ugly is our reverse hollow. And Clay Doll is our rare. Alright, last pack. I'm lying. There's one more pack after this. Okay. I'll save the Tyranitar pack for last because, of course, that's the boy that I'm hunting for. And it would be poetic to find Tyranitar inside of a Tyranitar pack. I'm just saying. And then I'm going to go bang. I'm so glad that we moved out here because we don't have any neighbors directly next to our wall. So I can be a bit louder. I could be a bit more myself at times. All right. I'm going to say that this energy is a thunder energy. A thunder energy. We got it. Let me get that primate then since, since I'm calling stuff. We got thunder energy, Perugly, Honchcrow, Cedra. Blip Bug, Silly Cobra, Hound Hour, Lickitung, Horsey, Mien Fool is our reverse, and Age of Slash. Hey, we got an Age of Slash again. I'm not even mad about that repeat card, but it's a good Pokemon, so I'm all for it. That should have started a second pile. My, my commons just bailed on me. It's a mutiny, I'm telling you. Alright, so can I get that fire energy for this fire pool? We got a grass energy. Alright. Tower of Darkness. Girder. Durant. Mankey. Galarian Slowpoke. Fomantis. Remoraid. Cubone, bone, bone. Mirko Crow Reverse Hollow and a... Electivire. I thought that was a hollow. I'll take them though. I will take them. Not bad. Some really cool pulls in today's video. So let me let me pick these cards up. I feel like that's very irresponsible for me to just let them topple over like that and leave them. Even though y'all abandoned me, I still I still rocks with y'all. Y'all still my people. Y'all still my folk. But anyway. If you enjoyed this pack opening video and you'd like to see more, I encourage you to like the video, sus subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified when new content is being uploaded. Not only do we do Pokemon pack openings on this channel, we also do Yu-Gi-Oh pack openings. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, I hope to see you back here again. Also, it helps if uh, you share the video. Uh, it gets out to more people who are interested in the similar things. We're almost up to 100 subscribers, guys. Let's keep pushing. After that 100 subscription, we will post two mystery box opening videos back to back. And that's going to be dope. I'm so excited to see what's inside. I ain't going to lie. I picked inside of the first box because I wasn't sure whether or not the guy was going to be legit or not. I never dealt with him, but he had really good reviews online. And I had talked to him prior and everything sounded, you know. But I didn't look too much into it, so it, it's going to be mostly a surprise. But anyway, with that being said, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to head out. You have yourself a good day. Peace.